hereby present a clinical picture that highlights the value of cardiac magnetic resonance imaging in the diagnosis and assessment of cardiovascular disease. An 81-year-old gentleman was reviewed in the outpatient cardiology clinic with a one-year history of shortness of breath on exertion. The transthoracic echocardiogram showed normal left ventricular size with preserved systolic function and possible bileaflet mitral valve prolapse with severe mitral regurgitation. In order to investigate this further, we proceeded with a cardiac MRI scan. This showed a central jet of mitral regurgitation caused by annular dilatation and non-captation of the mitral valve leaflets. Using both the standard and 4D flow advanced methods, we, find, we found this regurgitation to be only mild in severity with a regurgitant jet of 5 ml. The mitral regurgitation jet was seen swirling around the left atrium, leading therefore to an overestimation of the severity of the regurgitation as assessed by the speckled Doppler trace that, used in, that was used in echocardiography. The cardiac MRI also demonstrated a non-ischemic fibrotic pattern with presence of fibrosis in the anterior and lateral walls of the left ventricle. Taken together, these findings are consistent with the presence of a non-ischemic cardiomyopathy caused by sarcoidosis. We consequently decided to defer any plans for mitral valve intervention, as with the findings from the cardiac MRI scan, it was evident that the main issue was an underlying cardiomyopathy and the patient's symptoms were not related to the only mild mitral regurgitation.